Hey guys, Figurecraft here, and tonight we're going to do the last part of the build on the Titanic Shipment 16. Sorry, I just wanted to wait until night time because I got plans in store for this video. We're going to basically do a lighting test and see how the lights light up in the hole, and I had to wait for it to be night time to do that. But for right now, the first thing that we're going to do is get into the build. This is issue 92. Bulkheads for the shelter deck. Step one, remove the four grills from the frame, 92E. Check the fit on the outside of part 92A and glue them in place as shown below. So that's your first step that we're going to be doing so for that we're going to need our box our 92 box and when it comes to those uh grills i've already got those put in so there's the grills put in here is our bulkhead all done up and ready to go we got a cable in here we'll need we'll need these screws we'll need that I'll go ahead and I'll empty these out because we'll need these which is four more of those connectors All that's in here is what's left over from the frame that I got the photo etch out of. And then that. And that's everything. So now we're going to go to step two. Alright. Step two. Check how the four connectors 92D fit on the inside of part 92A. Fix each of the connectors in place with an AP screw. So let me go ahead and get that done. And for that, we're going to need our PH1, PH1 screwdriver. And then I'm going to take the first connector. It's basically painted black on the back of mine because, you know, light bleed issue. We don't want to deal with any light bleed. So, let's see here. Let's get this. If I can. Open. Oh, come on. I don't like it when it comes to these stubborn packs that don't want to open. There we go. That's a little bit more than what I wanted, but that'll do. We'll be using them anyway. So our first screw going in and there's one gonna get our next one which these are keyhole shaped and I'm gonna get our next screw All right, I'm going to get our next keyhole pattern support in. And then our next screw. Now 
Then our next keyhole pattern. And then we're going to get our next screw. And then we'll be just about ready to install this to the ship. Which is a good thing. Ow, that piece is sharp. There we go. Alright, with that, those are on. Step three. Fit the upper edge of part 92A to the underside of section 89A of the bridge deck at the aft end. The connectors 92D fit over the raised screw sockets. Fix each connector in place with an AP screw. The photo at the bottom right shows part 92A in place with the deck right side up. So that's our next step. So for that we're going to take our deck and we're going to flip the deck over. And then we're going to take this and we're going to align it with these screw holes. Which this looks like one of the easier ones to go on here. The other ones were like extremely tight to go on. So, yeah. And I'm just now seeing that there may end up being another date that goes down here. Because why would they have these grooves if not? So... It could be possible there could be some more floors and wallpapers that I'll have to do eventually. But only time will tell. And there's one. Put my hand underneath here to support it. It's not as wobbly. There's two. Make sure this goes down. Get my third one in. Okay. And we're going to get my fourth one in. Which I'm going to put my hand underneath this side. That way I can support it. Yeah, definitely support it because it feels very wobbly when you go to bear down on that. And you don't want that to break. And then we have one screw left over, so we'll keep that back into the bag. But we'll go ahead and we'll flip this over and we'll look at it. Right there is our new bulkhead in place. You can see there we got our new bulkhead in place, which looks good. So yeah, we got that in place now. I'll go ahead and I'll keep it flipped upside down though, because I think we gotta flip it upside down anyway here in a minute. So let me see. Yeah, we gotta flip it upside down to do another LED strip. Step four. With the deck upside down, identify the position for the LED strip. 92C on the underside of the deck section 89A. Fit one end of the strip under the tabs, then clip the other side in place. And that would be this last LED right here that I've already clipped in place. Turning to the final page, we are now going to be doing a whole lot of wires. 
Step 5. All five LED strips have been fixed to the underside of the bridge deck. Now you need to connect the test to connect and test them. Take the LED cables 83C, 84D, 90C, 91D, and 92B from previous issues. They are a they are identical and all connections are labeled Z. The photo below shows how to connect the cables to the LED strips. Fitting the sockets on the cables into the labeled ports on the LED strips. When the cables are in place, connect cable 92B to the tester 3T and check that the LED light light up. Disconnect the tester, remove the batteries, and store carefully. Alright, so we're going to need all of our cables, which I've got them all right here. And then the cable that just now came out of the box is 92B. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to have to find cable 3C. That's not it. That's not it. That ain't it. Eighty three C. Yeah, this is it. Eighty three C. Then I'm going to get this tape off of it, which I probably should have brought. My tweezers set in here, but I didn't. So I'll try to make do with what I have. Okay, got it off. And then this is going to go into J3. <sighs> so looking at the instructions. Yeah. J3 right here. This is always the fun part when it comes to connecting these LEDs. Okay, that one connects into J3, and it goes all the way to the next board into J3. So, J3 right here. Yeah. So, turning this to where I can get it in there. There we go, J3 to J3. And it's shown in the book that this has to be... That ain't gonna work. Uh, yeah, whatever. We'll figure that out later. <laughs> it shows that it's supposed to be like that, but that ain't gonna work. Then we need cable 84D. There's 84C. Nope. It's 91D. Or was that one that I just saw? 84. Maybe I marked it wrong. 84C. Is there an 84C? No, there's not no 84C. So this is it right here. I marked it wrong by accident. That's alright. So, let me just get this sticker off here. Because this is cable 84D. And this one's going to go into J2. Which is right beside here. So, getting your cable situated. J2's right here. 
I will situate the camera here in a minute. Okay, J2. Uh -huh. Let me grab my camera. We're going to go down here. <laughs> okay, J2 to J3. So we're going to take this cable all the way over here. Into J3 all the way up here. So let me just tilt this. Get this to go into J3. Come on. Into J3. Okay. J2 to J3, then J2 to J2, and that is cable 90C, which is right here. I get my screwdriver, try to get these pieces of tape apart. There we go. Alright, this is going to go into J2 into J2. So let me pull this down. And then we got to find J2, which is behind the stairs. Right beside this one. Dead beside this one. Alright, so there's J2. So, first of all, J2. Come on. This is always not the fun part. Tilt it a little bit. Because you got to guide this in there perfectly, and sometimes they're not easy to do. All right, there we go. J2. And then we're going to go into J2 on the other side. Which is pretty close to the end. Good thing this cable can stretch long. There it is. J2. Right over here. Alright. There's J2 into J2. And we're going to move this down a bit more. And we're right here towards the front. Now we're going to get cable 91D and J1 into J3. That would be this one right here that's left over. 91D. Uh -huh. And then we're going to go from J1 into J3. So where's J1? J1's right there. J3's right there. Oh yeah, it's back here, ain't it? Yeah, it's right here. Don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, J1's right here. Of course it's on the opposite side. I can't really see over there. Uh, man. I just have to feel for it. Okay, I think it's got it. J1, and this goes all the way into J3, which J3 is on this side, hopefully, yeah it is, it's on the side I can see, good, so turn this, get this into there, okay, J1 into J3, and then our last cable is going to go into J1 and into the tester. So, J1. And then into the tester. And there we go.
So that's all of the LED lights working, which is good. So now I'm going to do my little thing I wanted to do. So let me pick this up, set this over here. And I'm going to bring up the main big old hull of the ship first. Which, oh my gosh, this thing is heavy. Okay, the main hull of the ship. And then I'm going to set these decks down on top of the main hull of the ship with this cable sticking out at the side. Just give me a second to align this because this is kind of a tedious process. And it goes there. It goes there. It's not going to sit down fully, fully flush right now. But I'll try to get it to sit down as best as I can because of this little cable that's sticking out. Alrighty then. So let me turn off the um, the lights in here right fast. Let me get this lamp. Let me get the main light. Alright, now let me get the LED hooked up to the tester. All right. And then I will turn off this main light right above our head. And with that, we now have lights. Keep in mind, it's not lit up here towards the front yet because there's um, an LED strip underneath the forward well deck so yeah but you can see there there's light bleeding through the deck right there because it's not all the way down it's not fastened all the way down because of that cable <sighs> sticking out here but you can see here all of the lights are looking really good so far which i'm very happy about Going up here to the top, you can see our staircase right there is being lit. Going on up towards the front of the ship. You can see all kinds of things being lit. Which looks absolutely good. Here is the uh, light sticking up back here that's going to go on that little uh, building that's going to be back here. You can see here there's no light bleeding through on mine right now because I've got the black painted behind the walls. But yeah, it's looking really good so far. But yeah, that's going to do it um, for this uh, video right here. But before I go, let me find out what I did with my book. I think I laid my ship on top of it. There it is. And I'm going to read the last step right here of the uh, Titanic. Completed work. A bulkhead for the shelter deck has been fitted to the aft end of the bridge deck. The LED strips on the underside of the bridge deck have been tested. And that's our completed work. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope y'all are doing safe during these troublesome times and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And until um, our next um, shipment comes in, we'll um, have to put a stop off on building Titanic for right now because that was the last thing to do until I get my next shipment. But until uh, the next shipment, we'll be going over the review video next and then the weigh-in video. And then I'm going to try to get the next Harry Potter figures up on the channel soon. But until then, you all have a blessed one and goodbye.